Hello guys, what is going on? It is a gaming girl here. Welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3 and I did that again and in the last episode we finished off chapter 3 and in this episode we'll be beginning chapter 4 of course What else would we be doing if we just finished chapter 3? Wimp! Yet again, I make bad situations even worse. It's a talent of mine. And I'm proud of it. I really should be proud of that. <sighs> it is head. Tip of that, and he's off. Hey! Now he's the Lucas we all know. Club Titty Boo. Hold on a minute. Is that actually what it was called? I don't remember it being called Club Titty Boo. Attached to Club Titty Boo. Damn. Hey, Mapson. This is my man's. Wow, the auto win is now the auto hotel. Oh, and there's facade. Fadas. So it's pulling occasionally. Yeah, bad head. Looking handsome. There's the sheep. Bah! Well, I know what's afraid of my name. The last are actually pretty okay with it. Bah! Lightning is scary! Smile. Woof, woof! I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Bernie, join your party. Ah, I got charred black. Smile. Hey, save it on. Hey, you there, boy. Well, this is my complaint. Maybe you've ever bothered. Please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Oh, and then he's moonwalking out of here. He's moonwalking frog. It's Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's frog up in here. In the state of wealth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given a unit called DP or Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. Teams have already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can conduct DP transactions, though. Should I explain all that again? No, I'm good. Alright, then, let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Huh, do you need something? You need to save the game or perhaps transfer DP. DP stuff. Oh, we'll withdraw 30 DP. Oh, you're not saving, but I hope you're not holding you only on you in the bathroom, too. Thanks, man. Save. And we'll keep our DP with us. I'm not holding out on saving, I just saved. Oh. This is as well as as Lightning House. <laughs> and you must really love being unhappy. You still refuse to get a happy box after all this. A simple atmosphere. The smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tesmo that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. Yup! 
We like to kick it old school over here. Like all these newfangled city dwellers. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the city. I'm a, I'm a more uh, suburban area kind of guy. You know, lightning struck Reggie's tent. Well, that's what he gets for not having a happy box. How dare you attack poor Reggie! 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 Hold on, isn't this the right game music? Ah. Reggie! Where's Reggie? I need to talk to Reggie. I'm gonna wanna pull out my Jamaican accent again. Hey, that's a safe drug. That's a pig. Okay, man. What's this? Who's man's bateau? A woman over there, she keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. She's so nervous. Oh. a pig. And I just lie here like this. I forget about all the bad things in life. Is it this is this the woman you're talking about? This suit this suit shape surf is pretty sweet, huh? I want one of those. That man over there keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Bump bump. Yeah. Now nah, I'm good. These appear to be pig mask shoes. What's in here? Idiots with happy boxes, that's who's here. Don't care about you. Well, happy boxes. What's this? There's something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. Okay then. It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? I do. Take care and bye. Alright. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. I was a nice love. Please call me anytime. Amor. That's love. Love. That's Amor. Okay. I. A couple on the other bench has been really lovey, 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 lovey for a while now. But they just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. What if I say no here? No. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me now. They all say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you don't want to come back now? My arm won't turn back. I'll listen to you. You know what a trumpet is. I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or anything. That's just how I was. I was destined to be. You know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of trumpets. That's all. Thanks to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use this time I've been practicing it and other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah. Also, something else, and who knows? Maybe that'll turn out well. Maybe I can start crashing the yanopy. Do you know what a yanopy is? That's the proper term for a piano. What if I start practicing the Yampi now and wind up being the greatest Yanopist ever, claiming the hearts of men the world over? That happens to mean I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My face will have to kiss the Yanopist's feet and our cross won't just get. Oh, did I say kiss? Did it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody knows what you can read your holes, not even more quickly. Water striders or horned owls. Hey, you smile. Yes, you have a really cute smile, you know that? So, anyway, basically. <laughs> you should have turned back when you had the chance. I was just being nice. And I'm trying to meet my friend Reggie and I can't find him. I'm gonna talk to Reggie. I'll find out how he's doing. He's still happy. And we're like, happiness comes to us um, every day, man. Hey, is the jail. Please don't stare directly at me. Um, if you want to arrest you. They just have no policemen at all. You gotta be kidding me. Sup, bro? I got busted for larceny, and all I do is pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. This isn't fair. Huh? Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensics lab or something. Bow wow! It looks like I've been arrested, but I actually came here on my own. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not coming out. Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on this door. <laughs> so now I have to stand here like this to hold it shut. He picked up a doorknob, but that happened to be the doorknob that was on ours. <gasps> this furniture has a lot of lightning lately. Pay attention now, let this be a lesson. What if it falls upon the homes of all bad guys? Out of the way, out of the way. Gah, you're annoying. Shoot, kid, shoot, get. Reggie, my man. 
The lightning used to be Reggie's friend, but now this lightning is bound to Reggie. Don't get a happy box, Reggie. Be the same. Always don't change. Oh, this is badass have to say. He's ignoring you. Yeah, he should. Mapson! Let's head over this way. Hey, there's a car and a frog. Okay. I stopped myself before I said it so I wouldn't say car and a frog. And what do I do anyway? I say car and a frog. Not surprised. No! Duster's house! But if we go behind here, we get a free thunder bomb still. Aha! Jokes! Oh, hello, Lucas. Oh, and Bonnie, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. I'm here to visit my grandma. We play games like Pin the Tail on the Leak, Hide and Go Sweep, and the Hokey Pokey. Having your girl to your visit is a true cause for happiness. I haven't seen Flint at all lately. How is he? Damn happy boxes. Mike! Oh, Lucas, did you come all the way here to see me? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I was feeling lonely since my grandkids had ever come to see me. Since it's you when I said to come see me, I'll give you a little spending money. There's not much, but here you go. Keep it a secret from my grandkids, though. Yeah, 50 DP. I can't keep burdening Lisa forever, but I do have a heavy box, and nice bodied girls like Nan and Linda are here to keep me company. So I'm pretty happy in my own way. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual ha sexual harassment these days. This is a whole world we live in now. How disappointing. Happy box again. Ha! You will never be able to look at your happy box again! If only I could actually do that. What's in the middle room? Wes! Wes. It's a fancy shirt you have. HOW COULD YOU DO THIS, WES?! Why are there chains in the back there? That facade guy has screwed up everything in every way possible. What is he trying to do to this village? How could you, Wes? How could you? Hey! Save your game, Shane! Because you're an old frog, I'll shave my game for you. Ribbit, ribbit. Don't you worry, Wombit. I may be old, but I'm still that good at shaving as ever. Hey, you bastard, how could you? How could you get a happy box? So, so what's up? Oh, Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my mountain camera a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically. But well, come on, one million times? Pretty sure we want to head to Club Titty Boo. I just kind of want to explore a little bit. Hey, I keep getting hit by lightning. Did someone find out that I peed on that happy box or something? <laughs> um, this is a training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? <coughs> I ain't slacking off. I'm just glad for the central. <coughs> yeah, we don't need to be here. Alright, let's make, begin making our way towards Club Titty Boo. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. I'm a police officer. Yeah, I'm going to Club Titty Boo to check out a DCMC concert. I wish, I, I wish work would end already. The DCMC. Come on now, Jackie, get real. It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one seen hide no hammer duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hmm? Oh, what's something? There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boo past the factory. And the butt and the bass player, they look kinda like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure. Well, we only want it disappointing Wes if, we turns, if it turns out we're wrong. The 
guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Justin. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, it's time to head home, and I can have some chow and watch the heavy box. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving, too. We'll see you, Lucas. Tell when I say hi. Sup, bro? I'm sure I won't be coming for a while. Well, then I'll just go there myself. This is this is actually what you have to do. Isn't there something up here, though? Hey! We got a sprinting bomb. No zombies allowed. That's the cemetery. Hey, we got more up here. We got ourselves a bread roll. All right, all right. Hi, hi. All right, let's let's go. Hold it. Whoa, bro, what's up? Hey, hello there, Mr. T. That's dangerous. What the heck are you thinking? I don't know what your story is, but you're still young. Don't just throw away your life, okay? All right, then. Now you want? Now that you understand? Go on. I just forget about me. See ya. Your life was saved. Okay. Oh. I guess I can't yet. I just want to go. Hold it, hold it. I figured it was you again. Please, just give it a rest already. This is almost like a kind of routine at this point. Listen, go back home, and then say that quietly. Forget all about this tunnel. My life is not being saved. Whoa, now! I was keeping an eye out for you. I thought you might show up. And you did. Come on, just go home now. Please. No! Hold it! Don't you ever listen! You're testing me. You're teasing me, aren't you? You're not mocking me for being kind, friendly, and sympathetic, are you? You are, aren't you? Alright, this will be the last time. I'm not gonna stop you anymore. I'm gonna stop you next time. Do you wanna... Do you wanna... Work? This happened last time, too. Look at the other controller. We're just going home now. Please? Your life was saved. Is he not saying anything anymore? Yeah, he's done. Alright. Well, we gotta do something, I guess. Maybe we gotta go to Wes. Oh. Never mind. Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant! Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. But it's been fun. You take one of the chip, get her to go bald on your way home. Seize this violence! I'm no bug! I'm an old man! Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already, so you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Probably need to go talk to Wes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Hey Wes, how's it going? Oh Lucas, I really embarrassed myself really. A curse that facade shooting me like a bug. Like a stag beetle! What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be? Lucas, I'll lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, we should go and see if this local like Mo really is not moron or not. Besides, Cody is her lookout for me, so we can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, uh. go find that moron for me. If you find Duster, send this dog to let me know. Go, go, go! At long last, my time to be useful has come! Receive the carrier pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I told myself that everyone's gonna look out for me. And that is gonna be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter in the description below. But most importantly, have a fantastic day.